members of the Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association of Ghana, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. It is good to be here this afternoon to commission a veritable outcome of our fight against the pandemic of COVID-19, a fight which won global acclaim for our country. By dint of commitment, dedication, and hard work, we are met here today to commission this building, which will serve as home of the National Vaccine Institute. Ladies and gentlemen, not only did COVID-19 disrupt health systems and ravage economies, but it also laid bare the vulnerability of countries and exposed our dependence on developed countries for the acquisition of vaccines. Our nation's attainment of low middle income status also meant that we have to transition fully from GAVI's Vaccine Alliance support by 2027. Simply put, the world is putting us on notice, so we start taking responsibility for our routine vaccine needs within four years, which is estimated at some 30 million United States dollars per year. Like many African countries, Ghana does not produce our own vaccines and is thus susceptible to shortages and its attendant challenges on the global stage. With limited bargaining power to negotiate directly with COVID-19 vaccine manufacturers, government relied on two multilateral initiatives to procure COVID-19 vaccines, the COVAX facility and the African Vaccine Acquisition Task Team, AVAT, to receive enough vaccines for 20% of the population and also on direct purchases of vaccines from the international market. We cannot continue on this unsustainable path. It is for these reasons that on 28th February 2021, I inaugurated a presidential committee on vaccine development and manufacturing to give concrete expression to the vision of becoming self-sufficient in the domestic production of vaccines, and also to implement the revived the revised National Strategic COVID-19 Response Plan, 2020 to 2024. The Presidential Committee identified the following strategies to help realize our goal. A, establish domestic vaccine manufacturing plants. B, strengthen research, discovery, and development of vaccines in Ghana. C, upgrade and strengthen Ghana's Food and Drugs Authority, FDA. And D, establish a permanent national secretariat to coordinate vaccine development and manufacture. The committee from March 2021 to February 2023, working in close collaboration with key partners, including private sector pharmaceutical companies, academic and research institutions, GIZ, the European Union, and the World Health Organization has thus far achieved a number of noteworthy milestones which I must outline. They include A, development of a roadmap for vaccine development and manufacturing in Ghana, B, support of the FDA upgrade of laboratory facilities to achieve WHO maturity level four. C, international collaboration with Rwanda, Senegal, and the mRNA vaccine technology company, BioNTech of Germany, on a full finished project for COVID-19 vaccine. D, establishment of local manufa vaccine manufacturing plant by Atlantic Life Sciences Limited, commissioned in April 2022, in the groundbreaking ceremony for the commencement of work of DEK Vaccines Limited, which I undertook a few weeks ago. And E, the setting up of the National Vaccine Institute and its secretariat. With the enactment of the National Vaccine Institute Bill 
On 14 February 2023, by Parliament, the committee became functus officio and wound up its activities. Indeed, prior to coming here, I inaugurated this morning the governing board of the Institute and in the chairperson, the chief executive officers and members, I am confident the affairs of the Institute are in safe and capable hands. As I stated on 17th April 2023, at the salt cutting ceremony for Dex Vaccine Manufacturing Limited, our short term goal is to fill, finish, and package. COVID-19, malaria, and tuberculosis vaccines within two years. The FDA will also establish a vaccine lot release system and will strengthen further research and development for vaccine production. We also want to establish a technology transfer partnership with vaccine developments and provide in-house and external training program for staff. In the medium term, that is in five years, the target is to continue the establishment of more domestic vaccine manufacturing plants in the country to manufacture vaccines to meet WHO GMP standards, with a long-term target being to produce a candidate vaccine in 10 years using innovative technologies. I acknowledge the significant work by the Public Works Department the Presidential Committee, the Ministry of Finance, the Office of Chief of Staff of the Office of the President, and the Ministry of Health in the completion of this magnificent building. I thank the Federal Republic of Germany's International Development Agency, GIZ, the European Union, the European Investment Bank, and the World Health Organization for the considerable assistance offered in bringing us to this day. Following the inauguration of the governing board, it is with great pleasure that as President of the Republic, I commission formally this building to a house of strategic coordinating entity for vaccine research, development, and manufacturing in Ghana, the National Vaccine Institute, set up by Act of Parliament as Act 1097 of 2023. I challenge the National Vaccine Institute and its supervising ministry, the Ministry of Health, to maintain this building with great care and ensure that it is used to facilitate and coordinate all aspects of vaccine development and manufacturing in Ghana. May God bless the National Vaccine Institute and us all. And may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, public health and socioeconomic lives, as well as challenges with respect to global vaccine manufacturing capacity and supply chain, highlighted the need for Ghana to venture into the development and manufacture of vaccines for sufficient national use. The President's vision of achieving Ghana Beyond Aid is aimed at transitioning to a buoyant economy and the National Strategic COVID-19 Response Plan seeks to build Ghana's domestic capacity towards self-reliance. His Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, while the Gavi Alliance supports about 80% of Ghana's vaccines and delivery, including health system strengthening, our attainment of a lower middle income country status means we will have to transition from Gavi support by the year 2027. The Minister of Health developed the National Vaccines Policy to translate the President's vision of making Ghana a vaccine development and manufacturing hub towards self-reliance into reality. The Minister of Health has worked assiduously on development of the National Vaccine Institute Bill and championed the recent passage in February 2023 by Parliament of the National Vaccine Institute Act 1097, 2023. This has enabled the establishment of the National Vaccine Institute to coordinate and support all vaccine development and manufacturing activities in our country. The Ministry of Health will provide the Vaccine Institute all the needed support to enable it to create a viable vaccine manufacturing industry in Ghana. I implore all stakeholders to collaborate effectively with the National Vaccine Institute to achieve our collective goal 
for the development and manufacture of vaccines in our country. The Minister of Health gracefully recognizes the overall leadership of His Excellency the President, Nana Adudankwa Ekufuadu, whose vision has brought us to this remarkable milestone within two years since the announcement in February 2021. His Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I am very grateful for the unflinching support and efforts of my Honorable Deputy Ministers for Health, Tina Mensa and Alej Mama Seni, and my directors at the Ministry of Health and the Technical Working Group who worked hard on the Vaccine Policy and the National Vaccine Institute Bill. I recognize the immense efforts of the Presidential Vaccines Committee who converted His Excellency the President's vision into a vaccines roadmap and mobilized support from partners such as the WHO, GIZ, EU, the World Bank, and many other stakeholders. I express my profound gratitude to all our partners. The commissioning of this building is a major milestone marking very important next steps which will require significant contributions and inputs from key stakeholders. And I pledge the full backing of the Minister of Health, the Ghana Health Service, and all our other agencies to the successful initiation of work by the National Vaccine Institute. I welcome you once again, and thank you, and may the good Lord bless us all. I thank you.